So some of you might be thinking, Crimson, are you tired of just failing these challenges? Are you tired of dying and restarting the game? And my answer is no, it's quite fun. Welcome back everybody to the channel. I hope you all are doing really good today. And as you can tell by the title of the video today is me completing Arkham Asylum, trying not to die from start to finish. So basically this video is going to entertain the boss battles only. I'm going to go over them and I'm going to tell you if I died or if I didn't. So let's get right into this. All right, in the first boss battle, we have technically the prototype Titan Thug. This one, I probably shouldn't have counted, but this was pretty easy. This is just the prototype. There's really nothing to say here. So, as you all know, we have the next boss battle, which is actually an actual boss battle, which is Scarecrow. So, a Scarecrow Fight 1, as I like to call it, is actually the easiest. Now, the first time that I went through this, yes, keep in mind I said first time, I actually came really close to dying. But this time, I obviously took my time, and I just, as you can see, I just ran right past him. Not really hard at all, but uh, as we get into later Scarecrow bosses, we get very close to death. But ultimately, Scarecrow wasn't that hard, so let's just go ahead and move on to Bane. So with Bane, he wasn't really too much of a problem the first time around. He did almost get me. I was like a little sliver away. But the second time, I'm going to show you guys here in a little bit, that he was a lot more easier. Now, I should have probably stated this at the very beginning, but you guys allowed me, the because I'm going to go ahead and confirm it, I did die the first time playing this, and we'll get to that part a little later. But... The second playthrough that I started, you guys voted on stream if I could upgrade or not. You guys got to vote on that, and you all said I can go ahead and start upgrading. So I went ahead and did some upgrades. So the upgrades did help me here, uh, and you'll see once again in just a little bit. But uh, overall, Bane was not that hard, really easy for this challenge. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm just going to show you exactly what happened at the very end of the boss fight, and then we'll move on from there. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Cloud. Oh, I didn't know he was still up. Oh no. Ha 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 ha. Duck you, Donny. Dun, dun, dun. Camo wants to be my friend. There you go, Camo. I'm going to beat Bane. Maybe not. <laughs> Stop getting health. That's not fair. I beat Bane. Thank you all for the nine likes. Of course. Uh, I beat Bane. And moving on to Scarecrow Fight 2. This one, I think, is the hardest, especially right at the beginning of his boss fight with the second one anyway. Uh, he goes super duper fast, so I was very nervous, especially at that part right there. I thought he was going to catch me right then and there. Like, I was so nervous for this, but I did get past him. Once again, not a hard challenge at all, especially with Scarecrow. You just got to know exactly when to move and obviously i've done that so many times i'm not trying to show off by the way but it's this was a very good challenge very fun uh the next time i do this i will be doing the no upgrade portion of the challenge um i like doing these games without upgrading and i think that's really fun and on top of this challenge it just makes a good challenge but that's all i really have to say about this second scarecrow boss fight let's move on to the next one and here we go with the second Titan Thug fight, which is actually a double Titan fight. 
So, as you all know, we had the prototype, and then Bane was technically his own Titan, only just as a special one, because he's Bane. You know, I love Bane, don't get me wrong. But this is where we fight two Titans with the formula and everything. And this one wasn't that hard, believe it or not. This one was super duper easy. I think I only got hit a few times, but overall, not hard at all. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, which this one <laughs> got really close. So yes, it came down to this. The third Scarecrow boss fight. <sighs> what can I say about this? I'll show you guys here once I'm done explaining. But basically what happened, it came down to the very end when he gives you the extra little dose. I had to fight these skeletons, the skeleton titans and all them. I got down to that and you know what? Instead of me explaining, let me show you what happens. How? Oh god. Come on, come on. How much more do you think you can take? Does it scare you to know that I have almost defeated you? So yes, it came down to the third fight of Scarecrow. It came down to the very last little portion of it. I got down to low health, but I managed to keep going, fight my way through, and I did it without using an upgrade for some health. So the next we have Killer Croc. Now, some people think that this doesn't count as a boss fight, but it actually does. You have to be very stealthy. You're hunting some plants, but you also have to avoid Croc and hit his collar every time he pops out at you and then run away. So yes, it does count as a stealth boss fight, as I like to call it. But ultimately, Killer Croc didn't give me problems at all. I am playing on hard, so he was able to start smashing those boards right off the bat. But ultimately, like I said, real easy. Wasn't hard at all. I got past him. So time for my most hated boss fight of the game. The Titan Thug in the Sewer. So this is the part that I was dreading the whole time. Because anytime I try to do a no upgrade challenge, this is the part where I always died. I always did right here. The first time I played this on for this challenge, I was really nervous for this part. Because I thought this was going to be the first major roadblock. Well, to my surprise, I actually beat him first try. And got past him, and then we get to the boss fight that I actually die. But that's coming up here in a little bit. But the second time through was a little easier because you guys did say that I could use upgrades. And thank God that you guys did. You guys actually don't hate me and want me to suffer that much anyway. But ultimately, this part was actually pretty easy. But then it's what comes next, especially the first time, of what happened... And I hate to tell you guys, but this is where it gets interesting. So I hope you guys are paying attention. Because after the Sewer Titan boss, y'all should know who the next boss fight is in the game. And that would be Poison Ivy. Now, the first playthrough that I did for this challenge, I'm not going to lie. This is the roadblock that I was dreading. I knew she was going to be hard too. But it came down to the second phase, a little round halfway, I want to say. And, well, see for yourself on what happened. <laughs> He's 
Okay, hold on. Size are going too. Okay. Oh no! Oh, no! You're dead and buried. Oh dead. no! There it is. Oh man! Well, there's the first death. I told you, Poison Ivy was a hard one. So yes, as you saw, I died, and that meant I had to start all over because of the goon or I should say the guard that Poison Ivy had under control, killed me. Literally killed me, meaning the first playthrough is at an end, and that's when I had to start all over. And that's also when I left it up to you guys. I cast in a little poll in my live chat asking you guys, should I just go ahead and upgrade, or do you guys want me to try it again without upgrading? And you all were pretty generous. You all said that I could go ahead and upgrade. So, by God, that's what I did. So, I made it all the way back to Poison Ivy. And let's see what happened. Okay. Oh! Okay. Oh. Oh, I did it. And I got two up. So yes, I beat her, and I was so happy, and that meant I have two bosses left. I have the double Titan fight, and then finally Titan Joker. Titan, the Titans didn't have anything against me. I beat them pretty quickly and pretty fast, and they were pretty easy. It's where we get to Joker where it gets a little close for comfort. So yes, here we are. At the final boss, Joker. And I'm not going to lie. I guess I kind of got you guys a little bit. It's nothing happened. I beat him. I beat the challenge. And honestly, it wasn't that really difficult. I thought I was going to die at least one more, maybe two more times. So three times altogether. But I ended up dying only one time. Uh, Joker was pretty easy. I mean, the boss fight, doesn't matter what difficulty you're on. Once you get to him, just three punches each round is depletes a third of his health so i mean that kind of sucks but ultimately this challenge was a success i beat it let me know what you guys think right now we are in the middle of brotherhood so if you want to catch that live make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications anyway i hope you all enjoyed please let me know how i did with this video down below and i'll talk to you all in the next one bye bye